Hello, this is Rosina's Italian Kitchen. This afternoon, we're going to prepare some appetizers uh, for um, gathering some uh, friends over before going to dinner. And they definitely are like appetizers. We're gonna start with what I call ham roll-ups. And the ham roll-ups, we use a, a thin slice of what I call boiled ham. I spread cream cheese on the, the um, ham uh, to hold it together. So I'm, oops, it kind of sticks a little bit. I prefer um, not using the um, uh, cream cheese, a whipped one. I like to just soften the uh, block and uh, do it but I picked this up, so I thought it would be easier, but apparently it's kind of hard to deal with a little bit. And these are, you can put anything you want into, um, in the middle, because we're gonna roll these up. So I'm going to put asparagus, which I just quickly um, uh, blanched them. So you see, I'm uh, rolling them up like this. And then I'm going to uh, cut them. Now they'll be a little bit of waste, but that's good for the chef. They get to eat the uh, stuff that you don't want to put on the platter. So I'm going to put these aside for my munching later. So you cut them any size you want, you can see. And the asparagus um, gives you that nice crunch. And then a little salty uh, taste of the um, cream, uh, of the ham and I place them in a, your platter. Uh, this obviously is not gonna be the platter I'm gonna serve them in. And you could use toothpicks uh, for, the, uh, to, for people to pick them up. Now the next one we're going to do is going to be the um, figs. We have, lucky that we have figs and um, I'm going to wash this out because I'm going to uh, cut the figs in half lengthwise. So here are the figs and you cut them in half like this and then you have a little cavity there. And uh, the cavity you can really use about anything in there. Um, you can, I put a little nut of some kind and this will be the walnut that I'm gonna use right here. And then you could use goat cheese, um, which I think is excellent, or um, I'm using blue cheese. And here's the, I have some already cut or grated, but you can just get a little chunk of it and put it there. It just gives it that nice salty taste again with a sweet fig flavor and it's um, kind of an interesting one we i've been serving this for a while and most people just really like it now goat cheese would be excellent but uh, not everybody likes goat cheese i happen to love it but, so i'm gonna so this is another really really easy appetizer this time of the year when we have an abundance of figs then i'll put it here and I, I think the, I love the color of the fig and um, the um, blue cheese and then we're going to go to something just a little bit different I, we're going to do um, two more one is going to be a cantaloupe of prosciutto Again, it's the sweet and the, um, and the uh, salty sort of um, thing. So prosciutto has salt, obviously. So I already cut the, um, oh, I'm gonna go back to the figs though. I did forget to say, since the fig tree is right in my backyard, I get these nice leaves, and of course in a bigger platter, and, um, um, line my platter up with the um, fig leaves. And then you can see 
they, they look rather nice. There. And I suppose I could also put the um, asparagus roll-ups. So that's that one. Now, for this one, we're gonna do the melon next. And this is just a uh, the uh, Tuscan uh, melon, which is a variety of, I guess, uh, cantaloupe that's excellent. It's usually, it's very sweet and uh, enjoy eating it. So I'm, you can do this in any way you want. I'm just gonna do a few of them. And I just cut them that way. And then I'll get the prosciutto and slice very, very thin and wrap it around the melon. And you can be generous or however you, your preference. So I wrap it around like this. Now this is a, something else you can do. I had did one a little earlier and um, put a little mint, poked it in here. Oops. Put a little mint in it and that's that one, but now I didn't the one I'm presenting now, demonstrating. That's another one. And I'll do, uh, here's my prosciutto. Yeah, prosciutto is kind of hard uh, only because it's so thin um, to wrap. Uh, you know, when you're serving something like this, everybody loves it. Uh, so I'm just gonna um, wrap this a little bit. And I'll try to make that much prosciutto and put it here. Thank you. And so you can wrap it nicely and again serve with toothpicks or whatever you want to your preferences. Put this here and. And the last one we're going to do is kind of a caprese um, appetizer with the little cherry tomatoes. I don't want to take that size. Um, and a sweet basil. And a little mozzarella balls. That wasn't wrapped very well, but you'll have the idea. Now my ingredients here. Now we'll go to uh, the crazy uh, appetizer, which uh, I usually like to cut the cherry tomatoes in half. So I'll do a few of these. And I put, I like to fold um, a piece of um, basil so let me see how this will work out. I think I'll just cut it in half because it's quite a bit of basil. Just cut it in half like this, either way. Just the way you feel like doing it. And get your little mozzarella ball. And then I'm going to put another one here at this end. Got to get my toothpick. It works best actually if you start with the toothpick there and then the sweet basil. And then put another mozzarella pearl and then do another one of these. You can kind of pretty much use your judgment on something like this on how you want it. And if you want to, you could. Uh, Stand it up like that, which is pretty, if you get it down far enough. Or you can, I'll do another one, and we'll demonstrate how you can just lay it down. These are fun to do as well. To pick that way. There's sweet basil here. 
mozzarella. I'm going to do another uh, tomato. And you can just use your judgment what you'd like to do. You can just, uh, just have fun with it. And you can do it that way. And then you can lay it down as well. Now we're going to show you what we have done earlier. Our platters. We have to see what our finished product is that we're going to serve tonight. Now we'll show you what uh, I have been doing this afternoon, getting ready for our uh, appetizer party before going to dinner. The first one we did were the ham roll-ups. Now you could be as creative as you want with something like this. You could have some other things on here uh, for the presentation. So this is what I call the ham roll-ups and we have asparagus in the center. But there are other things you can use. You can be creative. So I'll put that to one side. The next one that I did was the, um, I think it was a ham, I mean, I'm sorry, prosciutto and melon. Now again, you can do it any way you want. Add up some other little, uh, something for presentation purposes, but it's delicious. And the next one we did was the, I believe the uh, big, and blue cheese, which again, I suggested you can also use goat cheese with it. And you can also drizzle a little um, honey over the uh, figs if you'd like, um, or any other little uh, topping, but it really doesn't need it. And we have the very last now that we've made, which are the caprese um, appetizers. Uh, very colorful, very Italian looking. And this concludes, again, this you could also put a little uh, uh, olive oil or whatever you might uh, like. So this concludes our demonstration of the appetizers and hope you try them and enjoy them. Thank you.